that shit quick. Wind blowing. Anyway, so I'm sitting here listening to um one of these instrumentals, and I gotta tell you, you know, some of these things will bring up your spirit and make you think of things. And since I'm listening to a, I guess an inspiring victorious type of instrumental. It made me think of my year and how I've been going hard for the Lord and just going hard for myself at work and just creating things and letting things out that I want to do and all, you know? Right? And then I said to myself, yeah, man, just like you say, no retreat, no surrender. And I thought to myself, you got to stop saying that shit to niggas the way you say it without explaining the way you mean it. Because I always say, no retreat, no surrender, right? But, no one can win forever. You know what I mean? We all start out not the best, so you're going to lose. Losing is should be expected, you know? But, that's the no retreat, you know? No surrender, no retreat doesn't always mean you, um, you know, you don't, no, no, no retreat, no surrender means you gotta go till you die. Mm -mm. You gotta go until you lose. Everybody got a problem with losing for some fucking odd reason. <laughs> when the only way to get better is to lose. See, when you look at losing, like working out or something, like building muscles, and you learn about how it actually happens, and the process that it really takes to do it, you start learning that you're not, like, making your muscles, like, blow up. You're not filling them up with water like a balloon. No. When you build muscle, you're, you literally have to damage yourself. You're not, you know, it's not the way we look at it. It's more of, um, I would say it's more like, uh, like natural, like farming. Everything takes time and with, um, building like your strength in your arms and your legs, you have to break your muscles. See, once you start learning that, the science behind it, like you're breaking your muscles and then you're letting them heal by resting and then you eat all this good food that builds up your muscles, that's bodybuilding. The lifting the heavy weights and shit, that doesn't come in until you actually start getting stronger. That's what makes everybody not work out is because we look at the guy at the end result and be like, all right, I'm going to go do what he's doing in the video and I should look like he looks. No, it's going to take you uh, some time because one, some men are built better athletically than others and that's because they choose athletic men. So if you choose a non-athletic man and your son wants to be athletic, well, um, he doesn't have the clear advantage get it now it doesn't mean the most high won't bless him with ability to um work his way into it but it's definitely going to not give him an advantage period like what would you write if you are you know superficial and you want to create the next greatest basketball player right are you gonna go sleep with a guy that was garbage at basketball or are you going to try to get with a guy that actually, you know, got a ring on his finger? You know? You know? Like, see, back to no retreat, no surrender. You have to live life, so you're not going to retreat into your debt. It is only losing and giving up. When you give up, you're out the game. You, you're done. You're a watcher. When you lose, so fucking what? You lost. You're still in the game. Get it? <laughs> I'd rather be a nigga on the bench.
that gets in and gets a fucking rebound once a fucking while for two minutes and maybe score a point than be, you know, not in the game. But everybody wants to be Michael Jordan. So that's what I mean by don't get it twisted by no retreat, no surrender, as in don't give up, don't run away from certain battles like in fighting. You can't win every fight. If, if fucking real kings took on every challenge head up, they would have lost their throne a long time ago and, you know, didn't use the strategies and all the other things the, the people had told them before. Everything ain't about a brute force, dumbass. You, there's going to be a dude stronger than you, so what are you, how are you going to be him? Be faster. Have endurance. So, you know, you can run around him a lot and then he's going to get tired because he's real big and then when he's tired you can abuse him like a baby because strength is not everything it's just a very powerful tool now I think you get the point they got five minutes left and that talking about that Michael Jordan building a kid thing sound the horns is a perfect place for me to go because this is one of the number one reasons I won't just have any woman as my wife. Because I want to have a kid. And I don't want to just make a kid like everybody. I want my She look good. Oh. My kid going to look good. I might have a daughter that look good. And be dumb as a box of rocks. And then get, you know, what the pretty dumb girls get. And then sound the horns. Then you got to, you know, you got to go through that. And complain like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you do. Stop it. Anyway, that's why I choose to teach my wolves and my ninjas. And men that may have it more than me and have chances. Or younger than me and have time. It is a time thing. Now, when I learned that, you know, you can actually plan on having a kid and not follow everybody else. <laughs> I said, hmm, what kind of a kid would I want? How many people fucking make you think like that? You know? Not just have a kid. You know, the responsibility of fucking nagger or whatever. No, see, when you actually want to create your kid like you're the Lord, I want to make an Adam. What kind of an Adam do I want to make? Do I want to get it? See, niggas don't look at it like that. But the wolf guard does. The wolf guard understands things like that. Like if I'm yin and she's yang, what the fuck are they gonna be? Something else. Get it? I get it. That's why I try to teach people about, you know, not only the laws of God, but the laws of man and how, um, you know, we say we want things and then we just choose something else anyway because, you know, it looks good or sounds good or whatever. And most of all, it seems like nobody gives a fuck about kids. If you ain't trying to create your kid and putting thought into it, you're just making another person. Right? See, I was created as another person, supposedly. You know? Not planned. So, I know what that feels like. I want to know what it feels like, or at least someone tell me what it feels like to be like, thank you for planning me. You brought me forth. I read your letters and stuff. Like, when you die and stuff, you're always going to be with me. Because... You've, you've done so much purposely for me, for yourself, but for me. See, if my kid watches all my shit, he gets to see the younger me. He gets to see me becoming what he's going to see as a father or whatever, get it? So when I try to pretend I was always good, he ain't got to believe that shit, but... When he sees me overcome, he has to believe that. Which limits his options of wanting to fuck up. Because now he knows he can. 